Ethics is a really important theme within the CFA exam. You should, you should be aware of this. Uh, it's one of the few areas which actually is common for all three levels. And for all levels, the weighting is round about the 15% the mark, which is a big weighting. You know, for level one, it's the second biggest topic weighting. Right? So it's, it's really important that you focus on ethics. Also, for many people, they don't realize this, but if you turn out to be what the CF Institute may deem borderline, you know, so you're near the passing score, whichever that may be, you know, but you're not quite there, then whether they decide you go through or not will purely be based on your ethics score. So it's really important if you are a borderline candidate. That said, you don't actually have to pass ethics. You, know, you could ace every other topic and get zero for ethics, you, you'll be through. But that's quite a risky strategy. So I'd urge you to focus on ethics. 15% uh, number, quite a big weighting. And if you say if you are borderline, uh, then it's crucial your ethics score uh, is as high as possible. That then brings the issue as how to tackle ethics, because ethics is a pretty descriptive, quite narrative topic. It's not conceptual. Uh, there's no calculations. It's, it's almost old-fashioned, I guess, rote learning. Again, as a team, we had a little chat about this, and we come up with a, probably two approaches that we have seen over the years. You can either do a small amount of studying, little and often, we often call it, or you can leave it towards the end and uh, focus on your short-term memory. Personally, I used to prefer the first one. Uh, for me, I used to try and read one of the uh, ethical standards that in the Standards of Practice Handbook, so one standard or one rule. I, I read that in the morning on my commute into work, and I read another one in the afternoon on, on the way home. Each standard you can probably read in about 15 minutes. So that was it. I read two of the standards a day, and after about three weeks, I'd read the entire uh, uh, Stands of Practice Handbook. And I simply cycled around. So I kept going around, I kept reading. So by the time I hit the exam, I'd probably read the Stands of Practice uh, uh, three, maybe four times. And that, that worked for me. Other colleagues of mine uh, say, no, this is completely narrative, completely descriptive, no concept, so it works best for short-term memory. Yeah. And so they suggest doing it at the end, you know, put aside a couple of days and go through the standards and do lots of questions. So really, it's your choice. You probably know by now how you best learn. Uh, all I would say, though, is really, really make sure you don't neglect ethics. Very, very important aspect for passing CFA.